What is up, guys? Hope you're all doing really well. Uh, welcome to 2021. This is the first video of 2021. We're officially with the new setup with my rails. If you didn't see us constructing this new um, Depop stock system, go check out the last video where I explain what my what my old uh, stock system was and how we built these new dope rails where everything's really easy to find now. And yeah, it's a nice little backdrop for the videos now. Um, so anyway, uh, getting into it, I wanted to do, I wanted to get this video done earlier for you guys, but just with Christmas going on and then New Year's r rolled round, there was just a bit much going on, and because um, in terms of the Depop store coppers, um, it was pretty busy over that time period, and still is kind of busy. That was the busiest I'd been with the Depop store. Um, a sort of like the most sales I made in a short amount of time and I just wasn't sure how Christmas was going to perform over those couple of days so yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video so we're going to go through every item that sold over Christmas day and Boxing Day and sort of explain to you how much I paid for those items and so first up we have so this was like the first sale that came through on Christmas day and I was like oh that's cool someone like bought something on Christmas day and that was um, this Nike half zip pullover sweatshirt. It's got this nice like color blocking. As I've said before, like quarter zip, half zip stuff does especially well. And the fact this has got like Nike branded on it made it an even sort of like quicker sale. So yeah, I think I only had this up for like maybe like less than a week. And yeah, we got $19.99 for that plus shipping. But next up was this Kappa tonal sort of red on red um women's t-shirt that sold for 9.99 and i think i paid about 50 pence for that yeah 50 pence paid for that from a charity shop 9.99 just a solid sale really then next up was like the craziest sale that i made on christmas day like couldn't actually believe it so somebody bought three items so first up i sold these speedo sort of like uh swim shorts those were 9.99 again i don't know what happened with shorts over the past few months they've just been selling really well for me even though like it's not the kind of months that shorts should be selling but they've been doing well and i'm not complaining i'm quite happy to um get rid of this bunch of shorts that i have laying around next up was this really nice piece it was a don't have to say this brand i think it's shot shot yep yeah, shot I think it's Shot, NYC is the brand, um, they make really high quality stuff, it's not exactly um, very sought after but depending on what the piece is I will pick it up and I definitely picked this piece up because it's like a Sherpa lined, nice heavyweight sort of fleece, uh, minimal branding but yeah really nice piece and that sold for um, $39.99. And believe it or not, I picked that one up for, yeah, I picked that up for 50 pence at a charity shop. Couldn't quite believe it when I picked that up. It was a really good steal. Um, so, yeah, we made a nice bit of profit on that item. And the third item the customer picked up was this, um, it's like a vintage sort of like German army camo sort of trench coats kind of thing. Uh, not really the kind of thing I normally pick up, but when I saw it, uh, it just had a vibe to it. I, l I like the sort of that design of camo. It's sort of like, I don't know how to describe it. Similar to like duck camo, I think. And then you obviously had like the Germany flags um, sewn on. So yeah, and it had like a sort of like authentic looking um, army-esque tag in it. So I picked that up. I paid a pound for that one. And that one sold for twenty nine ninety nine. So that was around, that was about an £80 bundle. And yeah, if we look at what I paid for those three items, I paid about two pounds. So turning two pounds into an 80 pound sale, it's kind of crazy. So yeah, that was probably um, one of the best sales I've had in a little while on coppers. But yeah, I was really happy with that sale. You may have seen me pick this up in a previous sort of like charity shop uh, thrift haul. It's this um, really nice sort of like tonal crew neck from Quicksilver. I think it was like a 90s um, sort of one. It looked a bit older with the tags. And on the back of this piece, it had this really nice Quicksilver spell out and it was all embroidered. 
honestly one of my favorite pickups as of late. I think I sold this for a little less than thirty nine ninety nine. I think the guy worked out some sort of deal with me, and we paid about thirty six pounds all in for that one. So, and I believe we got this at an Oxfam for six ninety nine. So after fees and stuff on that one, we made about twenty pound profit, which is pretty good. So I think that was Christmas Day. I'm not sure exactly which bit sold on what, what day. Uh, I've just kind of taken screenshots from everything that sold over Christmas Day, Boxing Day. So yeah, I think we move, most of those were Christmas Day. Now we're moving into the Boxing Day sales. I did advertise on my Instagram that on Boxing Day, I was doing like a 15% off sale. So um, yeah, I did push like a Boxing Day sale because I thought Depop were actually going to... Um, sort of like push the users to do, run a Boxing Day sale, but instead they did like a free fees thing for um, sellers. So they did the free fees between like the 28th or the 27th and the 29th. So yeah, it was like a post Boxing Day sort of incentive for the sellers to push sales and stuff. But I just because... I thought the Boxing Day sale was going to be a thing. I created my own Boxing Day sale. And a couple of people took advantage of it. Like this next order was a two item bundle where the guy picked up this Dickies um, sort of like classic logo spell out. That went for twelve ninety nine, And then he also copped one of the independent t-shirts, the purple one with like the classic logo on the chest. And that was on sale for sixteen ninety nine. So yeah, that was a nice little bundle, so twelve ninety nine, sixteen ninety nine. Obviously they get free shipping because we've got free shipping on bundles. Then next up was a I mean, it was a little bit of an exciting deal. So obviously I had the Supreme Cross logo beanies that I was able to cop for retail when I was in London. And um the guy kinda like asked how many I had and I was because he, he must have seen I had two, so I said I had two. And then we sort of like negotiated a deal for both of them. And I made a little bit of profit on them. Nothing too exciting. I think with things like that, because the cross logo beanie was such a, it kind of hit with people and a lot of people didn't like it. So personally, like, so when I was in London, I copped three and I've kept one for myself just to hold for a couple of years and see where the prices do go on them. But yeah, I was happy just to sell both of these to this one guy. So yeah, he paid um, £57.50 a piece on those, and I paid um, £34, so we only made about, um, it was about £16 profit on both of them, but, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's either I sit on them for a while, try and flip them on sort of like different platforms, like Facebook groups and stuff, and I was quite happy just selling them on Depop. I I got the two sales on my Depop. Yes, I paid the fees, but you know what? I'm glad they've gone. I'm glad I've made some profit, and I'm glad I've made some more sales on the account. So yeah, I was happy to get rid of those two. Then next up, we sold this Hawaii Five O um, zip up sweatshirt. Uh, I think you may have seen me cop this at a, in a previous charity shop video. But yeah, we picked this up from Oxfam. And what did we pay for that one? And I think we paid about, I want to say like six ninety nine, and then that sold for nineteen ninety nine plus um, shipping as well. So yeah, I had like two people going after that at the same time. So whenever somebody messages and they're like, "I'll get back to you," I always hit them with the sort of like, just to let you know that there is other people asking about this. So if you did actually want it, um. I'd say purchase like as soon as possible and yeah sometimes when people hear that they do buy it like as soon as you've said that because they are afraid um like somebody else is going to swoop in and cop it and I did have that exact scenario with this so I sort of like informed both the people interested that you know there was somebody else asking and then obviously the person who didn't get it was kind of bummed out but you know I've both gave them sort of like a fair warning about it. Next up, we sold one of the independent five panel camp caps. Um, yeah, I'm slowly managing to move these. So I started with 12, I think I'm down to like 
uh, seven or eight now. So yeah, it's nice to see those moving. So I've got those listed for uh, fourteen ninety nine on Depop and eBay. And some have been going like at full price. Some of them I've taken like close offers. So I think I'm like three pound fifty in a piece on those. So we're still making good sort of like profits on those pieces. That one I was the one that sold on Boxing Day there that went for like sort of like full asking price of fifteen. So pretty happy with that. Next up, this is a Lee Shark sort of crew neck sweater. Lee Shark is a brand I've only just sort of become aware of recently like I had this exact I had this crew neck posted on eBay and I got quite a bit of interest people were like messaging me asking if I had other Lee Shark pieces and so it kind of like enlightened me and made me realize oh there's a bit of a market for this brand so definitely one to look out for if you're sourcing yourself um, I recently got a really nice piece from them that will be in the next um, thrift haul really happy with it it's an absolute banger so yeah, this one sold for twenty two forty nine as part of the Boxing Day sale. And what did I pay on that? For the Lee Shark, I paid £3.50 from a charity shop. So could come up on that one. Finally, sort of like the last sale of Boxing Day was this uh, Rugby 7 Series HSBC DHL sort of collaboration rugby shirt. Uh, yeah, and I sold that one for £25. I think I had it listed for like twenty nine ninety nine, and he shot me an offer of 25 and I accepted. So yeah, and we paid about £4 for that one from a charity shop. I think that was in a previous thrift haul. So that is everything from Christmas Day and Boxing Day. And mainly I just wanted to make this video because I felt like I was not expecting that amount of sales over those two days like honestly when people were like talking to me about it they were like sort of like oh I suppose you didn't make any sales on Christmas day because of like you know people are just generally like just vibing with their families and stuff but the way I looked at it is like because the build up to Christmas I didn't feel like there was many sales being made um, because I don't think people really were doing like Christmas shopping necessarily on Depop like I had a few people that were like I need this by this date kind of thing there was like a handful of people buying for like Christmas gifts but I felt like most of the purchases like Christmas Day Boxing Day that was people that had got a bit of Christmas money they're excited and they went straight to Depop and like cop some personal bits I think that's why I saw like a surge in sales over Christmas Day and Boxing Day due to the fact that people were receiving Christmas money and they're excited to go and purchase things they may have been like had liked on Depop and like because I had a few people that were like saying they were waiting till after Christmas before they purchased certain items so that's my theory behind why I saw a surge in sales so I made 14 sales over Christmas Day and Boxing Day. I think is like the most I've done in like that short amount of time. In terms of like the Depop journey in general, like this first sort of, well not even like a whole year yet, but um, it's been nice going past these like check mark dates to know how like the shop's gonna perform. So this is very useful going into next Christmas. So we know that like Christmas Day is hot for sales as well as Boxing Day. And to be honest, like, from Christmas Day to today, which is the 2nd of January now, the shop has been pretty performing pretty consistent. Like, I don't think I've gone a day between that, maybe like one or two days where I've made no sales, but it has been pretty consistent over this festive period. So this is definitely useful sort of knowledge going into next year's festive period that I know that, you know, Christmas Day is a big day for Depop and then Boxing Day and as well as like going into the next year. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you sort of like my world ranking from that week of Christmas Day and Boxing Day because it was my best world ranking I've got since starting Depop. As you can see here, we managed to get number 1,395 in the world. I was kind of like hoping that I was going to be able to break the top 1,000, but I'm going to take this. I'm very happy with this. On an average week, I'm sort of floating in the top 5K, which, you know, I don't mind being there, but I do want to break that top 1,000 eventually. 
that'll be a bit of a challenge for me going into the next going into this year sort of like trying to break the 1k mark as often as possible but it's all about consistency at the end of the day like I've realized I need to be uploading every day sort of like new stock I've been working really hard to create my backlog of listings so I'm in a position where I can comfortably drop like two to three items a day I know there's people out there that can comfortably drop 10 items a day but I'm just not there yet we're still working on it um, but yeah this is all stuff to work on going into the, this year just more consistent with the content like I want to bring you guys more YouTube videos because I love just talking about this stuff on camera and sharing it with you guys but yeah as you can see we got 1395 I managed to list 15 new items that week we sold 21 in total so 14 of that was um, Christmas Day and Boxing Day and I made an extra seven sort of like prior to that so yeah and we we managed to hit 54 in the last um, month which is really good because to, uh, for us to get that verified seller check mark I need to be hitting 50 every month so this is really good we're on track for that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching don't forget to comment what your favorite sort of sale was that I made there. And, you know, don't forget to drop your Depop shops down below. More than happy to check those out. And, yeah, definitely more videos coming soon. If you have any specific videos you want me to make, drop that down below. And there'll definitely be sort of something I'll keep in mind and try and get made in the future. Don't forget to follow Coppers on Depop. The link will be down below. Give us a follow over there. And, you know, like a few items. Um... It's really good to see you guys engaging over on Depop. Also, follow us on Instagram for the latest sort of updates. That's where we post, like, when new stocks go up, when we've got a sale going on, things like that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.